greetings and welcome in today's video we shall see how to calculate product how we can add different currency symbols to the values here that is ugx and also shs or any other currency symbol that is not predefined within the excel uh, format then we shall look at transposing i.e vlookup hlookup to get a category based on the item prices then lastly we shall look at adding grids so from here let's first get total price using product so we shall say equal signs get quantity times unit price from here we can click in the answer and auto fill after doing that i would like us to add different current symbols we shall begin with UGX under unit price. So we highlight unit price. We can right click and go to format cells. Under here, we go to currency. At this point, I want the symbol. So I click symbol. When I click on the down arrow of symbol on my keyboard, I can press UGX so that I go there directly. So I select it. Decimal presses, I can reduce them to zero. And I click OK. So this can also be done from here. You click here, it brings this dialog box and you go ahead. Then on the column for unit price, I would like us to add SHS as the currency symbol, this one. We shall apply it on total price. So with this, I again right click, I go to format cells, I go to currency. So what you do first, you first choose UGX decimal presses to zero then i choose ugx or any of these currency symbols after selecting it i now go to custom when i reach to custom i will now replace ugx here around here so i can remove this and put shs you can see here on the sample it is indicated don't tamper with any of this formatting so once you're done with that you click ok so here you can expand the column width so that the values fit okay so next we are going to do transposing okay so we want to make a category based on this so that those which have zero uh, i can put my at my table array here so i can have a uh, unit price or i can have price and then here i put category zero uh, this one belongs to normal so i can have this normal and then uh from this 1001 this one is modulate and then 2000 and above this one is expensive so we are going to use vlookup to get category for this so we start equal signs vlookup we select our unit price, put a comma, then highlight our array of table. After selecting that, we put a comma, we need column two, which has category. So we close the brackets. Then we highlight our range in our function and make it absolute by pressing F4 on your keyboard. So from here, I press enter. Here we have our category using VLOOKUP. So now we would like to have another category here, but using HLOOKUP. We are going to transpose our table here into HLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP is for vertical lookup all our our table of array is arranged vertically so we would like to arrange our table horizontally 
and use HLOOKUP. So copy your table. So highlight and copy your table. So you can click anywhere where you would like to have your table, your array table. So from here I click, I come here under paste and then I choose transpose. So when I click transpose, now my table has been transposed from the vertical into horizontal. So this is now the table, our array of table for horizontal lookup. So let's go H lookup. Begin with equal signs, H lookup. Open brackets. We are using our item price, comma. Now select your array of table, comma. We need row two, which has category. Row one has price, row two has category. So right to close the brackets highlight your range and make it absolute by pressing f4 on your keyboard press enter so it gives us the same results as we did for h i mean as we did for v lookup so that is how you can transpose your results so from here we can apply grids into our data so we can come here and say all borders there we are done so i can as well have borders on my array tables on my array tables that is it for today remember to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos jabres